少清宁静，几人兵器交于一处，宣誓上报国家，下安黎庶。公元一九零年，汉室危在旦夕，内有奸宦贪墨成风，外有董卓欺主罔上，四海本是一片安宁，如今却是烽烟四起。和天子暗弱，屡受权臣董卓威压，乱军四起，权臣威风，皇权旁落，真可谓四海煎熬。虽然他们营区已腐，合兵一处。但这种脆弱的联盟，必定不会长久。Hello and welcome to Three Kingdoms Total War. I've literally just finished downloading the game. Um, I pre-ordered it, and to be honest, I thought that. If you pre-order a game, you'd get to play it a few days earlier than when it comes out. But apparently, that's not the case. I was able to download it earlier, but、um, this morning I still have to wait a good thirty minutes before it got downloaded onto my computer. So I thought that was a bit weird because、um, I, I did pre-order games like Halo before, and I do remember receiving it before the game actually got released. So I'm not too sure what's that about, unless it's just me, of course. But we are going to start a new campaign, and we are going to go with Liu Bei, of course, to restore the Han Empire. To restore the Han Empire. 眼见董卓祸乱天下。刘备是要根除乱政，匡扶汉室。Um, to be honest, I haven't played a Total War game in a long time. The the last one I played was Rome 2.、Uh, so it's going to take me a, a a bit of time to get used to the new the newer stuff, like for example the the champions that we have. Uh, so just bear in mind with me、um, for options. I am going to just leave it on normal. It would be pretty embarrassing if I fail on a harder difficulty, but、um, I, I, I see how, how it goes. And we're gonna go with romance mode as well. Let's start the campaign. Wait.、Right, okay. So before we start, let's have a look. Liu Bei, virtu virtuous idealist. So, sparring in front of troops, weaker in melee. Best group with resting with melee cavalry plus four. But all right, okay. And of course, he has his two brothers. We made the oath of the Peach Garden. Jianzhuoshi. 他们之外，再无人能匡扶汉室。OK。天下混乱不已，大汉王朝早已被腐败吞噬
黄金众人跨州联郡，高举大旗。忠于汉帝的将军们立即做出回应，出兵镇压黄巾军。Okay, looks like we have four of these little windows. Sui Huo Quan Sheng, Luan Ju Ru Gu. Tian Xia Zhi Huo, Nai Zai Qi Xin. Zhong Chen Liang Jiang Men, Sha Jin Gong Zhong, Zhan Sha Shi Chang Shi, Qing Chu Tian Xia Huo Yuan. Hun Luan Zhi Zhong, Dong Zhuo, Kong Zhi Le Huang Di. 猛将吕布常在其左右，天下无人敢与其为敌。Okay, I am just going to、uh, speak when she narrates. 董卓厚颜无耻，更有甚者，直呼其为董贼。袁绍率诸侯组成联军，意欲讨伐董卓。存救天下。面对联军讨伐，董卓西撤，回到长安寤保，顺便将都城洛阳夷为平地。初平元年，公元一九零年，关东联军破灭，四方诸侯各寻时机，在大乱中渔利。四海黄金余波未平，仍在祈求皇天之事，伺机而动。如今可谓大势已变，天下正值危急存亡之秋。Okay, so I've just let her finish that. But if you feel like you want to skip any of the narration, however you you, you can. Luoyang 然天下人黄金猖獗，匪盗横行，备必当身大义于天下，还百姓以太平。关张二将不忘誓约，愿效命疆场。董卓前途费力，定要制裁此贼。主公，我等今已如破风利剑，但听主公号令。Right, look at that. That looks absolutely beautiful. I do like、um, all the different mountains. It look, it does looks really cool, and、um, I do know that China has a vast array of different landscapes. So I think this is quite fitting. Let me know if you want to read all the things that pop up.、Um, for now, I, I will probably read them because, I, like I said, I haven't played a Total War game in a long time. So I've, I haven't played the Warhammer series,、um, haven't played Shogun, haven't played the Thrones of Britannia, or Alita, or any of those. The, the last one I played was Rome 2. So I will I will take a bit of time to read stuff.、Um, if you do want to skip ahead, feel free. Right. So okay, we're we're just going to what's happened, dude? Um, I have. Decided to use the Chinese server because I wasn't quite happy with some of the pronunciation of names、uh, in, in the English version. It's kind of a little bit cringy. I, I, I'm not sure why 
they couldn't have someone that knows how to pronounce the names properly. Like I don't think it's too hard to find a um, like a a Chinese person who grew up in England or in America, but I don't know. So we're gonna we have to make our way past the little urban build up strengths and protect Kong Rong and Hao Qian. I, I I believe that's how you pronounce because I'm I'm not too sure that they they don't have the obviously they don't have the the different tones so I, I can't tell. But Kong Rong actually has a um interesting story when he was younger. It like sort of involves giving up a pair to his brother. That's interesting if you wanna look that up. Engage the following army. We are going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna quickly. I, I forgot to make a save just now, but we're gonna do a quick save. All right, let's let's look at the map. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is quite new to me, so I, I'm gonna take a bit of time to set stuff out and. Um, and let's go. I can't remember if you can do this in Rome too, but right, let's get started in the first battle. Oh, achievement of the Peach Garden. Um. Hong Okay, so since we are playing on the romance mode, I have read the books Romance of Three Kingdoms and the historical records of the time period but they, they, so I'm fairly familiar with this um, period of time in China but sometimes it's quite easy to mistake uh, what happened in the books as real history rather than the actual historical records because the, the books was, have, is so popular uh, and there's like multiple like television adapt adapt adaptations and movie adaptations as well. Um, but Liu Bei, so he is a part of the royal Han uh, family, the, the imperial family. But at the start of his career. He's more like a peasant. He doesn't really hold any true power. So only the chaos of the Yellow Turban sort of built up his career. He, he actually like got his first position through the Yellow Turban uh, Rebellion. But of course, he, he's all about um, restoring the Han Empire because he's, he's portrayed in, in the books as a um, loyal character honorable noble one who is kind to the people and stuff like that but what he's like in real history is it's, it, it's a might be a different story okay Have a look. my graphic setting is on high uh, I, 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 it, I think as a default so I haven't really put it around with that but if the frame rate is a bit choppy, I, I will change it. Oh, look at this. This is so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, I've been extremely excited for this game. I think it's really long overdue. Because there's so many like amazing periods in China. 
that you can make a total game on. Like of course there's a Free Kingdom period and the uh, uh, and the Warring States period which, uh, before the Han and the Qin Dynasty. That's really good as well. And and even the period just before the Han Dynasty began, when the Qin fell, and um, and the different warlords are battling for control. That would be a good period for for Total War. Uh, game I think as well but I, I do understand why they've waited so long to to make a game for China obviously now the, there's a much larger market in China I, I understand it from their point from their uh, point of view but it, it still would have nice for it to be a little bit sooner all right Right, so we, we, we do have different types of units. Um, upward air, upward infantry, swordsman. Okay, that's fine. All right, this is the first small battle, so we are going to just get this started. Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, we, we we do have this hero type units. Oh, look at the detail. Guan Yu is God of War and Zhang Fei. Oh, look at his weapon. Look at his weapon. Okay, let's have a look at Liu Bei. Oh, he has this twin sword. All right, okay. Very, very cool. Um, right, so you, you, you can still make groups, which is good. I'm just gonna put them in like a massive group for now. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna accept that. Alright, okay. Let's have a look at this duo. Oh! <laughs> this mountain very nice. Uh, we get our, off our mountain as well, very, very noble and honorable. Okay, so from from what I know, the time period, especially in the Three Kingdoms, it, it's sort of all about um, all about being noble and honorable and stuff like that. The, the champion uh, to play them. Uh, I, I'm gonna need to get used to uh, playing with these heroes, especially. Because uh, I've never used Champion because I'm I'm not sure what um, what to expect. Oh, well, I'm just gonna go charge in since it's a fairly small battle at the start. It seems like if you if you kill the champion, they sort of just like go on a mass route, and that's a very heavy impact on their morale. Um, I'm just gonna chase them down a little bit because I think you get more XP for your units this way. I haven't. <laughs> I feel like I haven't really played the battle, and, and they've just all roused it.
Um, sometimes in the battle, I, I will probably pause the game. Like I said, just to get used to um, playing a Total War game. Okay, I'm gonna just kill as many of these people as I can, and then and then we're, we're gonna gonna finish. Yeah, but I, I um I, I do know how to pronounce characters' names and name of places, but like if I didn't, that would be embarrassing since I am of Chinese descent. But what I found, which is, I don't know if it's strange or, or not, but if I'm speaking English in a sentence with a Chinese name, I tend to pronounce the name the way that you know a, a non-Chinese speaker would pronounce it. So like I wouldn't have the proper pronunciation, for example Han Empire, I'd say Han Empire, I wouldn't say Han Empire so To some of you that, that, that might not seem to be a lot different, but that, that, that there is a big difference um, Like the, the different tones actually make the words different Okay, we're, go we're going to finish um, yeah, so there are, I think, four tones in, in Chinese Mandarin and um, with a neutral tone as well, I, I believe. Um, and depending on which tone you're using, it can be a completely different word. So, for example, Liu. So, for his name, it's the second tone. If you're using the first tone or the third tone, for example, um, it, you are saying a completely different word. Yeah, in, in that verse, I didn't really use the champions. I just need time to get used to it. Um, I'm not sure how strong they are. I haven't actually looked at too many stuff before the game came out, so I haven't looked at a lot of like previews or the, the Total War uh, YouTube channel and their ex explanation of stuff. So I, I'm almost going blind into um into the campaign oh he <laughs> that's cool he has of like the, the flowers but when he wins the battle um okay we, we are going to That was my alarm. Uh, we are going to ransom and release. I'm going to try to play as close to their character trait as possible uh, from the romance books. So I think Liu Bei, Liu Bei would probably be kind and release his enemies. So we are going to ransom and release. In peace, Yobe marches to claim yellow turban lands, joining the Han. But take with strength, you must crush the local yellow turban stronghold Caesar for yourself, bring peace and justice to people only then you can focus on great masses. Iron Man, okay. Support from the people, because that's fitting for his character. 
规划好军队的行动路线，在安全的地方休整。Okay. Ah, the the coalition. The this sort of a major enemy control of the emperor and has the Han Empire under his grasp. We are very, very weak compared to him, so... Right, um... We are going to just encamp Oh Wait, recruitment and replenish enabled own territory, so I don't own this territory, does that mean I can't replenish my units? Much. So, if I just go into this mode uh, it doesn't look like yeah, I, I guess we're just gonna attack I forgot to save again. Okay, we're just gonna quick save then. Starve out. Depends until I defeat it. Oh, okay, we're just going to start the battle. It's fine. I think I will probably cut away the loading screens so it's not as long of a wait. Huh,有人叫俺粗人,说俺脾气大,说俺贪酒。哈哈,是啊,那又怎样?俺可是立了誓言,要剿灭天下所有狗贼。这誓言,还有这美酒,俺都要享受到最后。俺发誓。Swear <laughs> on the oath of the wine. Very nice. Um, I do want to say if during any time of the episode you hear some like noise in the background. I do apologize for that. Uh, I, I I live on the first floor, and the walls are like incredibly thin. And I'm I'm like sat right next to the window, so anyone walking outside or talking, I can hear everything. There's like no privacy, so I do apologize. But I am fairly new to the game, so if you have any suggestions or advice, or tips or anything like that, just make sure to leave that in the comments, and I will take it all into account. Prefer pref preferably, the comments are nice, so. Um,
Hey. Cavalry. No one say with cavalry. Can only really enter on the front. Makes sense. It's sort of like mine. Let's have a look at the. <laughs> Just admiring some of the graphics. Hmm. Nice weapon rack. Look at the the houses. I have noticed the houses that. Unless it's just me, uh, they don't really look. I don't know. They they don't look Chinese enough. I feel like you'd find a house like this in in just anywhere in Europe. Okay. Well, let's, let's get this battle started. We're, we're just gonna group, group the artists together. Um, we have a lot of this halberdiers. Okay, and, and we have one of them extra. That's fine. Okay, let's just get started. I think the towers are, that does a lot of damage to the heroes. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to capture the towers first before I send the heroes in. Since on that side is just guarded by cavalry. I'm going to mind. Don't do that. And leave them alone. Right. I'm gonna send the halberdiers over here. How, how far the range of towers? Oh, what? Really? That's a massive range. Okay. Right, we're gonna we're gonna send them over there then. So it makes sense on the hill. Right. Wait. Can I do? No. God mode group. I think I need a strategist to, to use formations. Okay, that's fine. I think we're gonna fight upon as soon as we enter the range. So we're gonna ask them to run up. Are they firing? Yeah, yeah, they're firing. Okay. Um. Okay, 
second, they do have a lot of archers. Oh, the tower's fight upon them, ready. Jeez, I'm getting like, slaughtered. I'm going to leave my faction leader behind and send this to him. Oh. Right, I forgot to stop my cavalry. Okay. Yeah, this guy should do a bit better since they're against cavalry. Oh my days, can they not capture this? Okay. Finding splash damage. Does the splash damage do damage to all men? I'm not too sure. stuff is a is the health bar. Okay. So we have Alright. That's us finished. That was it did take a lot of casualties. That's fine. I love the graphics, they look so cool. It does seem the champions are a lot sturdier than I thought. I still sort of had a mindset um, where in, in like Rome 2 or, or the original Rome Total War, where you had to pr pr uh, protect your generals and keep them alive. They're not that beefy units, but.
Yeah, like I said, if you do have any advice, just feel free to leave that in the comments. Okay. We are going to occupy. I don't think Liu Bei would sack or loot any place he captures. Different for a set, very nice. Put on the people. Good stuff. Stabbed in order, win the settlement with the settlement's liberation. Who here are freed from oppression? Most of us in an old China must know the same freedom. Okay. Rank and station for Tali Sephiroth on behalf of the people who will grow stronger as warrior and as king and this way, there is nothing you cannot do. Getting loads of experience. Nice, grow might. Returns, okay. A little bonus. Put in this to army, left click on the button, okay. <laughs> War looms like a pregnant storm cloud. Very nice description. Okay, so I'll just have a go of these station. An enemy capital, okay. Ancillary game, okay. Let's have a look. Military instructor. Okay, now, now we can use some more formations. Admin. Nibus Wedge. Minus Cavalry. White Stallion A superior, <laughs> superior specimen indeed Champion's Leather Okay Right so, Looks like he leveled up How would I I do know Liu Bei has later on down the line has loads of really competent generals. Uh, in the books that describe us like very good warriors, fighters. So I am excited to win. We'll be getting those. Okay. Oops, my bad. So, how, how, how do I... I'm not... Oh, 
obviously the faction leader. Um, I don't have any of those unlocked yet. His parents doesn't have any children at the moment. Oh, well, we have this guy. Okay, so they have different traits. Fiery makes sense for him. Intimidation makes sense. Eternal, yeah. But yeah, so they're, they're, those who are fiercely loyal to the obey. What trait does he have? Kind, of course. Humble, of course. Past loyalty is high empire. We have a new mission. Recruit and maintain a total of 16. We need to start off a new term. Okay. For the next turn. Okay, that. There we go. Right. One point. Charity plus authority minus building up here plus 50% line of sight. Very nice. Do I, do I own this already? Dignity. So I own this three already. Okay. I think we're gonna go with dignity for now. Let's look at anything he equipped. Merchant. Trade influence. I think I will equip him since he has the cavalry. They have. I think it's really good that they have their own legendary weapons. Serpent spear, green dragon crescent blade. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, we're just gonna equip him with that as well. White horse. White. Let's have a look at him. Red horse? Wait, does he have his... Brown horse? What? What happened to his... Okay, I am going to give him the white stallion. 
has 10% chance of evading capture, same fitting for him since he was actually captured by Tao Tao. And, um, well, the, the romance book says he escaped by himself and the slaughtered his way past all the blockades, but I think it's because Tao Tao let him go. Time was eventually convinced him to, to join his cause, but obviously fiercely loyal to the obey, so he declined. Okay, so this only the, the trade influence only comes in play if practice Prime Minister of Air Faction leader. Right. I'm going to give him the military doctor. Yeah about the horse, I was thinking he would have his red horse is very famous that is supposed to be like the best st stallion in in China at the time or, or, or one of the best things I, I think you translate it into English something like the red red hair red I don't know. It, it it's supposed to be like it's supposed to mean like rabbit. I, I think <laughs> red rabbit, but uh, that doesn't sound <laughs> that doesn't sound right. It was, it was available. Oh, I, I thought I replied. Okay. Construction Upgrades. Fuck. Fuck iron. Alright. So how? Let's construct mine, and then we'll enter in there. I'm not gonna lie, it's so cool to see all these legendary characters brought onto the Total War games. It's amazing. 还有政治、改革以及家族事务，所有这些都需要你进行规划。Fashion only consists of settlement and armies, but policies, reforms, and family affairs all contribute to your rule and deserve consideration. Right, so I'm supposed to. Supposed to be recruiting some I don't I don't want to raise army at the moment. Okay, so I'm supposed to be 
，最多可由六支部队组成。将领被招募后，这些忠心耿耿的随从便会一同为你征战。Okay, so、um, I need to recruit some soldiers. I need to recruit some more units. Um. Jeez. It's mad. I need to recruit some cavalry, but I, I don't think we'll do that at the moment. I might go with one more archer and one more swordsman. Okay, so if I if I recruit them in different under different generals, are they going to create it faster? Give it up now. New capital. Let's have a look which way. All of this side is yellow turban. Oh wait, are, are they yellow turban as well? No, they're a different faction. I'm gonna leave the Han. Right, so. We're just gonna go after the yellow turban for now. Oh, started in the north of China. I thought we were starting like somewhere around here since since Liu Bei I, I pretty much gets thrashed during his early years. He sort of just. Hops around under different generals until he uh, until the Battle of the Red Cliffs, which then gave him a platform to、um, to build up his strength, which then of course led to the Three Kingdom state. Yeah, we're we're in the north. The north remembers. Yeah, I I I have seen a. Game of Thrones <laughs> final season.、Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty disappointed.、Uh, it's honestly, I I I I don't have. I I just I'm lost for words. I I don't understand how they, how they can mess up such a great show and produce. A monstrosity that is season eight. I I just don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what you think about <laughs> about the final、uh, final season of Game of Thrones. Comments if you want. Um. Final episode, the, the season eight finale. That I was just. It, it's not even a finale. <laughs> I'm, at such a loss for words. Pretty much the episode ended, around like, a twenty minute, thirty minute mark.、Uh, spoilers if you haven't seen it, but, it, it's ba it basically ends when. John kills Daenerys, right? And then after that, it sort of just fizzled out into nothing. It, it was so boring and long and drawn out, and basically nothing happens. 
Like, there's the, the, so many decisions that they made doesn't make sense. Like, um... Rogan, let's burn the Iron Throne. Is they implying that dragons are more... have more inter intellect than we... what they have? Like, is he so... smart that he figured out that Oh, it's not John that killed Daenerys, it's the greed for the Iron Throne that killed <laughs> that that killed his mother. And and it's just so weird. He, he just decides to fly away with Daenerys' body. Like, I feel like the such as the rise has been lazy because they couldn't figure way figure out a way to get rid of a dragon. It was obviously that the scorpions are all destroyed, they'd have no way to kill the dragon, so just like nah fuck off. <laughs> And um, I mean, <laughs> but John, I think most people got a pretty happy ending apart from John and Daenerys. You can argue John got a happy ending because he he's always wanted to be wild. Whatever, go north, a true northman, as they put it. But it's just the way that he. Is it the way that it, it it's reached? He basically got banished north. It's like his sisters and and brother don't care about him. They just fucked him off after he he did what he has to, which is kill Daenerys. And now. They just heard him basically fuck off to the north and not come back. But even though that that's probably what he would have decided to do, if he decided to go north by himself, that would be a different feeling. It, it, it would give a different impression of, of, of the ending, but because he has no choice, it leaves kind of bitter taste in your, your mouth and it just feels like they had no disrespect. John, who's fought so hard throughout the eight seasons to save mankind from the Night King, and he's done like the, the ultimate sacrifice, like to kill someone he, he loves to save the people. And none of that is recognized, and they, they've just said, insisted that he needs to pay for his crimes, uh, even though he, to, to, to another person, that he didn't really commit a crime, he, he saved. Westeros essentially and they just told him to fuck off and and Bram being king that there is absolutely no build up for Bram being king right it's just it, it, it's just so dumb right anyway I, I sort of gone way off topic in, in, in talking about that but um yeah. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. Um, I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. Yeah, see you next time.